I really enjoy going to a good steakhouse. One of my favorite places is King Steakhouse in New York City. The dark wood and cocktails and pipes take me back in time. But what I don't enjoy are steakhouse prices. So I had to figure out how to get something close to that experience at home. Something that I would love with every bite. The first thing is to start with a good piece of meat. There's USDA Select, Choice, and Prime. Now the categories are based on the marbling, AKA the amount of fat mixed in the meat. Now it's not the fat outside the meat that you can cut off. It's the fat that's intertwined in the muscle so you can't cut it away. USDA Select is the leanest and cheapest category. You can't even find that in a grocery store now. When cooking, it dries out easily. Now Choice is the middle of the road and you can find it in most grocery stores. Prime has the most marbling and is the most expensive. It also brings the most flavor because of the amount of fat that's already in the muscle. When you start with a good quality meat, you don't have to overdress it with seasonings or sauces. A key to a good sear on a steak is letting your meat be at room temperature when you cook it. Bring it out an hour or so before you plan to cook it so that the temp can come up to room temp. Season the meat with salt and pepper and sprinkle with a little olive oil. I just feel better that way. I like to use a cast iron pan because it's such a good conductor of heat and it makes me feel more steakhouse official. Turn up the fire really high and let the pan get hot. Once the pan is almost smoking, place the meat on the pan and leave it. Don't move the meat. Let it stand and do its thing for one to two minutes. You can check to see if there's a good sear. If not, you can go another minute more. Then flip on the other side and repeat. Now I like my steak medium rare to medium, and that's how you should eat a steak unless you're a child or with child. So let me tell you about this guy I once dated. He ordered his steak well done. Well, he ate his steak like the status of our relationship. Done done. So if you like your steak done done, you can finish it off in the oven. Otherwise, after it's seared on both sides, remove the steak from the heat and place it on a plate to rest. If your steak is really thick, you may have to finish it in the oven until it's 125 degrees for rare, 135 for medium rare, 145 for medium, 150 for medium well, and 160 for done done. You can remove the steak when it's about five degrees less than your desired doneness. The steak will continue to cook while it rests, but remember, don't cut into it just yet to check the temperature. Just have confidence in your abilities and wait. After letting the steak rest for 10 minutes, it'll be ready to enjoy. Now you can have a steakhouse dinner for a lot less and impress your guests with every single bite. For more tips and recipes and entertaining ideas, check out my website, biteswithapplewhite.com. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss an episode.